I've got something very exciting for you. In this video, we are going to learn to program in Scratch with Peppa Pig. Hi, I'm Eddie. I'm Peppa Pig. And this is your place to learn to code and have fun. In this tutorial, Peppa Pig and I are going to teach you how to make a character jump in Scratch. Let's dive in. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to make Peppa Pig jump like the video that you just saw. So let's go to scratch.mit.edu and then we click on create. Okay, so we are going to create a Peppa Pig that jumps like the video that we just saw before this. So we go to scratch.mit.edu and then let's give our project a name, jumping Peppa Pig. All right, we need a sprite for that. I've already downloaded a Peppa Pig sprite, so I'm going to upload it from my computer. When you wanted to download, search for Peppa Pig PNG transparent. So you search for import it first. So you need to search for Peppa Pig PNG transparent background and then you can find it in any of these links. Alright, so I have this character here and then I'm going to the costumes. I duplicate it and then I'm gonna create two variations so one more variation I delete the hands and I'm gonna draw a different hands pointing upwards so I take this pen and then going to the fill I take this I pick the color from here and now that I have my color, I draw a two different hands pointing upwards. So now I have this and I have this. All right, into the code. So let's see the video in slow motion once more and see what we should do. It is going upwards on the Y direction and then coming downwards on the y direction so few steps up y few steps down so we can write it like this from the motions i can say change y by 10 so it's like it's moving 10 10 1 2 3 4 5 10 upwards and then to go downward, I needed to go change y by minus 10. And since it's jumping up and down repeatedly, every movement is being repeated. So I go to control and then repeat 10 times going upwards, repeat 10 times going downward. Let's see. So it goes up, down, up, down. I don't want to keep clicking, so I put a forever loop as well around it so that this is going to be happening forever. I don't need to click anymore. So I stop. And then I want to make sure when I start, the piggy is in the middle of the uh, scene. So I go to the motion and I say so when I put it here 
the location of the x and y is already written for me so i say go to this location first and then do these things um i can make the piggy the peppa pig move by clicking on the start so i can say when start clicked i can also make it move with pressing any key that i want but i choose this so when flag clicked go up down up down up down let's put a backdrop as well i'm gonna choose this one and then also let's make it make a noise or sound or something so i go to the sounds and so you can go from here and choose whatever sound that you want i go here i search for a sound let's go to animals and see what is the most relevant this one mm. We don't have exactly the pig sounds. We can download it from internet or you can record it by yourself, but this might be fun. So I'm gonna import this and then here. Now that I have it, I would say start sound or yeah start this you can of course play with this and make it more similar the, to the one that is in the actual video but it's just for the demo so let's see what if i put it inside the repeat so that we hear it more often so i'm going to drag it inside much better so comment in the description what do you think we can do to make it better what things we can add to this project and feel free to go to this i'm gonna put the link to the project in the scratch website and feel free to go there and remix it and share your projects in the description i can't wait to see what you're gonna do if you like the video don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell so that you won't miss the next tutorial see you next week